Hey guys, this is Baltimore2131 here, and I'm bringing you the second part of my Washington Wizards Association for NBA 2K13. And so we're going to start this one off with the first game of the regular season, which will be against the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we're going to get this one underway. It is in Cleveland at the Quicken Loans Arena. I've actually driven by there when I took a trip to Cleveland. It's a pretty cool looking place, at least from the outside. Um, <laughs> I don't really have much to say about it besides that. Never like she been in there. But, um, so, uh, I was going to say, in the first video, I said I was going to uh, kind of talk a little bit about myself. Um, you kind of um, let you guys know, like, um, what I do and that sort of thing. So, my, I have a YouTube channel called Baltimore2131. Um, I have a PS3, and... I um, I use a uh, Turtle Beach Air Force P11 as my headset, which I use for commentaries as well as um, PlayStation Chat, so it's compatible with both of them, and I like it a lot. Um, it works really well. And I use uh, a Hope Hog HD PVR to capture my, my games on the PlayStation in HD. And that's pretty much like equipment-wise. On the PS3, I play uh, Madden 13 and NBA 2K13, and th those are the two um, games that I put up on my channel. Um, things I play um, that I don't put up are Black Ops 2. Um, uh, what's another one that I've been playing? I play Uncharted once in a while, Uncharted 3. Um, so, yeah, th that's kind of the, the kind of background of my channel and what I do. So, yeah, this is the uh, the Wizards Association. Got um, John Wall, point guard, Bradley Beal at shooting guard. Then we have Trevor Reza at small forward, uh, Nene at power forward, and then Emeka Okafor at center. So that's my starting five. Um, John Wall is actually injured in real life to start the season. He'll be back in maybe two weeks or so. So you'll see me kind of skipping ahead in clips, and that's what I'm kind of going to do for the series. Um, just kind of breaking the, the the game into little bits and pieces and just showing like the nice plays that sort of thing I'm not gonna pick out everything you know what I mean I'm not just gonna like skip over everything either but I will be showing quite a bit of the game and so the videos aren't gonna be too long but they're not gonna be like five minutes long either so um, I've been playing lots of uh, quick games and that sort of thing with the Wizards to, you know get a handle of the team and that sort of thing I've been really liking Bradley Beal. He hasn't shown, um, uh, he, he can really hit the three really well. I, I tend to reach in quite a bit in this game. Um, I'm still new to NBA. And I tend to reach in quite a bit. That is, I don't know, I just, I just, I'm, I'm aggressive a lot. And I like to, uh, push the ball off the floor. And you'll see that, especially in the second half, I, I like to, um, switch up the game plan and, um, do lots of fast breaks and kind of, be more have more pressure on defense and that sort of thing. So the Wizards defense is kind of I mean if you know if you know NBA basketball, you know the Wizards aren't very good and they really haven't been for the past several years, uh, several but um 3 or 4 since of that one playoff year with Gilbert Arenas lost to the Cavaliers in the first round. Gilbert missed the two free throws. I think that's how it went. Um it was quite a bit a long time ago. Um, pretty painful to watch if you're a Wizards fan. But there's Nene. He's my my favorite player on the team. Uh, he just he he was acquired from Denver, and uh, they traded Javale McGee for him over the off season. And he's just I like him a lot. He he has a bigger role here than he did in Denver. He's more of a scorer now, and he's gonna play more minutes and you know do that sort of thing. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? He's gonna be he's gonna be a bigger part of the team than he was in Denver. And Javale McGee is still making Javale McGee plays over in Denver, so. I, I did like JaVale McGee, though. He was a funny guy, despite his uh, stupidity. Um, but, so, um, Cleveland has a, a four-point lead right now. And what I struggle with, with the Wizards, is finding, at least in this, in this first half, is, like, finding the good shots. You'll see me, kind of, a couple times, just uh, wait for the shot clock to be close to expire and then kind of settle for a not-very-good shot. Um... 
But see, as you see, I like to push out the push the ball up quickly, and then there's Bradley Beal, the rookie out of Florida, with the three pointer to give us a one point lead as um, time is running out in the first half. Um, I do another uh, stupid foul there, but um, this is what I kind of struggle with. I try setting picks and that sort of thing. It's just it's just hard to uh, find a good shot. So I'm moving like the right stick around, you know, trying to do the the double moves and that sort of thing. Um, it's easier. I mean, when you're playing with a Thunder or something, and you got like Kevin Durant or you're like Tony Parker or something, this thing is a breeze. But not when you're the Washington Wizards. But there's Trevor Ariza pulling up for the three pointer. Um, he was he was from the Lakers. Uh, he is a really good uh, dunker, and he can also hit a three pretty darn well too. So I hold L2 to keep the um, the point guard in front of me, Kyrie Irving. However, he scores. Um, but, but going into halftime, we do have a four-point lead over the Cleveland Cavaliers here in Cleveland. So now it's time for the halftime report, and this is just gonna show. I'm just gonna show you believe it. Trevor Ariza with six points, three rebounds, and one assist. And now we're gonna get right back into the action here in the third quarter. John Wall driving and scoring on our first possession, I think. Um, so yeah, there's Kyrie Irving again. Is he? Uh, up-and-coming star actually I, he's got a great potential in this league I don't know how he missed that because I just stopped playing defense for some reason um, and see, this is another part where I just skip um, a couple plays uh, possessions I mean so as you can see I like to push it up the field the court a lot and there's a nice layup by uh, a Mecca Okafor we do have 16 um, even 16 16 points in the paint and that's what really hurt me when I first played this game in the first week of playing um, I couldn't score in the paint. I would just kind of roll up with a good shooting point guard, and if my point guard didn't have a good shot rating um, from three-point range, I would just lose the game. But that's been pretty much the story of the, my games, because I do lots of quick games and just NBA Today, and um, you know, like the like the exhibition games. Um, and if I'm winning the points in the paint game, then I'm winning the game. Um, that's how my games have been. Uh, I just like to feed down low and have the big guys just make easy layups, and um, that, that's a lot of my offense. And I also like to do lots of three pointers. Um, John Wall isn't a a good sh a good three point shooter, but um, I like to have a good point guard that can shoot a three. But it's also good because we have Bradley Beal at shooting guard, and also Trevor Ariza can make a a, a, a three pointer as well. Um, so nice bucket right there by Kyrie Irving. I guess get, getting the foul. Um, so he'll go to the line, and uh, we're down by four points. Or uh, now it's one point as I skip ahead some more. I go uh, um, pushing the ball forward again with John Wall, um, trying to put some more pressure on the defense. Bradley Beal steps up, can't hit the three-pointer. Nene on the rebound and puts it back in. So we're down in the in the points in the paint game. I'm always looking at that. That's what my games come down to nowadays. So we are up by three. Um, since the second half, we're doing much better offensively, getting better shots, especially three-pointers, and expanding our range a little bit. So, and uh, my defense is like, getting better, too. I feel like I play better when I'm a, uh, a power forward or someone that's not guarding the point guard because I tend to um, play them too closely, and they kind of go by me, and that's what I try to avoid. And this is where, um, this is where the um, fast break and the... Um, What's it called? I was just talking about it earlier. Like pushing the ball forward, um, that's where it kind of hurts you. If you try to go too much, then that sort of thing's going to happen. But however, John Wall does get the ball here and doesn't quite hit the three. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it's hard. It was hard for me in the first couple weeks of playing this game to have a point guard that couldn't shoot a three. But I eventually adapted and, um, kind of like playing with Tony Parker and the Spurs. Look at that. Alonzo G on the alley-oop in a nice finish. I think that was Lonzo G. Um, so uh, Cleveland takes a three-point lead now as we're nearing the end of the third quarter. There's John Wall with a Euro step, and the bucket is good. That's what he is good at, and he's really quick. And look at another alley-oop. This time it doesn't work. That's like their third alley-oop attempt in this game. Martel Webster, he's one of, all of, one of my favorite players in the Wizards. Um, he can shoot a three really well, and he's a great... Um, He's a great guy to come off the bench, and I'm thinking about putting him on my team um, uh, for my, my team series on my main channel, Baltimore 2131, um, that I do. 
I have I do a my team series as well as a my player slash my career series as Gustavo Morris. He's a um, uh, shooting guard. Uh, yeah, he's a shooting guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So those are the two series I have for 2K13. So this game is pretty much going back and forth now. We do have a uh, one point lead now. And I'm starting to struggle with my shot selection once again, um, just trying to find the open uh, guy. Eventually, John Wall hits a three. Um, I'm only going to take those with him when he's wide open because he's really not that great of a sh three point shooter. And there's another reach in. That's like his third personal foul in this game, fourth personal. Just because I like to get aggressive with my uh, defenders. Look at Bradley Beal with the spin move, and the bucket is good. So we have a pretty decent six point lead in this one. Um, that's a, I think that's the biggest lead we've had the whole game, and now it's just about holding the, um, playing good defense for the last two minutes and 34 seconds. So, keeping in front of me, Martel Webster, um, he's a, uh, he he can shoot a three really well, and he's been very good for the Wizards this year in real life too. And I don't know what I was slacking on defense there. I thought it was gonna be a shooting foul, but um, it was a traveling. So uh, we're just gonna skip ahead a little bit more in this one. Um, Waiters with the ball now. He flips it to Kyrie Irving. He steps back and um, passes it forward to Thompson. He makes, doesn't quite make the layup. I'm making Okafor on the rebound. And as usual, I'm pushing the ball forward with Trevor Ariza. A little weird pass, and Bradley Beal can't finish, so um, Clark Cavaliers will take over. Um, there's times where I feel like the computer doesn't shoot when they should. I don't know what happened. I guess that was a block, but it looked kind of weird. But there is times where I think the computer um, should shoot or be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I don't know. It's just little things here and there where I think you could drive easily um, if there's no one there. Except they want they just kill more clock in obvious situations. I mean, not obvious situations, but situations where the clock isn't really a factor. They would just kind of sit there and uh, not go for the shot or anything like that. John Crawford on a spin move, and Maka Okafor um, gets the pass. And now we have an eight point lead. John Wall sitting on the bench watching the game. Kevin Serafin. And, uh, excuse me. Cavaliers with another point. Jordan Crawford's in at point guard now because John Wall is in foul trouble, and I don't want to risk him just in case um, we go into some overtime sessions. So Kevin Serafin with the rebound, and he puts the. Uh, the basket back in. As you can see, points in the paint, 34-32. Wizards are winning that game, and we're winning the game, um, the, the overall points game. So that's what I said before, and Ke Kevin Serafin with the rebound. So I think the Wizards, um, things they have to improve are definitely defense, just because how easily they were setting up alley-oops, though they weren't making them all. Um, just the, the, um, the ease that the Cavaliers had in this game to just pass it inside and score um, was something we should work on. Trevor Ariza is the player of the game. Um, here's some highlights by him. Got a three-pointer right there. He didn't have a big scoring day, but um, I guess he's the player of the game. Uh, I don't really decide that, but anyway, that wraps up the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time. Eight points, four rebounds, and three assists. Thank you guys for watching, and go Wizards.